So let's begin this, uh, this live demonstration in, in Windchill. And in Windchill, we're looking at the generic structure. So this is essentially a structure of all of the possible options and variants, all of the choices. You see, for example, when we get to the, to the seat options for this automobile, we've got a couple of different choices. We've got a standard seat and we've got a sport seat. There are many other options that are, that are built into this design, but instead of exploring them here in the PLM system, let's go to the Creo configuration modeling app. So again, another purpose-built app that has been tailored to provide me the capabilities to create configurations, to choose from the options in the bill of material and generate a unique variant. So there are some elements in the, in the base of this car, some things that aren't configurable, that's the top node. The other five nodes here, though, are all configuration options. We've got multiple different engine types. We've got multiple different transmission options, braking options, body styles. We've got multiple different seat choices as well. So we're going to make a choice for most of those options, but we're not going to choose a seat. The reason we're not going to choose a seat is the seat option we want isn't in this configuration. It's not, it's not on the menu. It's not an option yet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to search our PLM system and we're going to find the seats that we want. We actually want racing seats, five-point harness racing seats. And there you see the properties for those seats. We're actually going to add this as a new option to the design. So in the configuration modeling environment, we can actually create new configurable options. Not only make choices, but create new choices that we can select from. After we've made these changes in this configuration modeling environment, we're going to go ahead and push these changes back to the PLM system. So you'll see that there's a, you'll also notice in, in this particular screenshot that what we're looking at is all of these different options, they're color coded to reflect the different applications where that source data came from. So a little bit of any data adoption is, is shown here as well. We're going to push those changes, the changes to the configuration back into Windchill. You'll see now when we refresh that we actually have three seat choices and we've revised this generic structure. If we go back to the configuration modeling environment though, we've made some choices. We've created a serial number specific variant. For me, I've picked what I want exactly. I've defined a collection of data in this application. Let's take a look at what that, what that looks like. Now in order to do that, I want to switch to a visualization environment. I want to see the 3D geometry. And in order to get there, I'm going to use an app switcher, a tool that will allows me, allow me to switch between one role-specific app and another and automatically pass the data as well. So when I go ahead and select the visualization application, what do I see? I see the specific geometric configuration to reflect, the specific geometry to reflect the choices that I made. You'll see the seat switch there, and you'll see the racing seats are included in the design. 